Hey there, welcome to the channel Serious About Stars. My name is Jay, and in this video here, we are going to be talking about Libra season. So all of Libra season here, all of the transits, um, some hard hitting transits here. We do have an eclipse, um, an annual uh, solar eclipse on the, um, what's the date again? I think it's the 14th, yes, of October. Um, other than that, we'll go through some other transits, but that, that eclipse is the big one. <laughs> That's the big one. Um, and then, so yeah, some this video is going to be some astrology. Um, I took a look at all of these transits, the charts, and um, but also this video is going to be primarily child messages so intuitive downloads for these transits for libra season how this may very well be um impacting your life in some kind of a way so uh this video is just kind of um designed to give you a little bit of insight um into the energy that you are already dealing with it's kind of like i like to think of astrology as being this um this sort of tool to work with the energy and not against it. You know, sometimes when things are going on in our lives, uh, like say an eclipse or a full moon, or you know, there are those different things that cause a little bit of turbulence. Sometimes it, sometimes it feels like we're working against the energy, but we're not supposed to work against the energy, work with the energy, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this video here. Um, so sun enters Libra on Friday, September 22nd, really late in the night. Um, actually pretty close to midnight, so almost Saturday, almost Saturday the 23rd. Um, and you know, depending on where you are in the world, see this, these dates could be a little bit off, but you know, give or take, um, some hours or day before, day after, things like that. So take that into consideration with this all. But um, yeah, so uh, I want to say the most, um, I'd say the overall energy for Libra season from about September 22nd to about um, October 23rd, when, when the sun will then enter Scorpio a month later. The overall energy here is this Libra season, this this season in your life is it's more than you bargained for. It's more than you bargained for. There's also this kind of underlying energy of um, careful what you wish for and not even in an ominous way at all, just in a way that like universe is listening, you know, to you, to you, to your thoughts, to your manifestations. And it's kind of bringing this awareness, I feel, of, of oh, I really am manifesting, right? Um, this is also a very, very karmic time right now, as Libra is one of the signs that does deal a lot with karma. Um, I'm feeling even, even like justice kind of really kind of coming through strong this Libra season. Um, and a lot of just introspective um, energy really kind of becoming this sort of result of the experiences that you'll be having throughout this season in your life. Uh, this is, I feel like an interesting season. Like it's kind of like a season that you didn't expect. Regardless, this, this uh, time period is gonna be, I just feel like everything you really need right now. Um, everything you really do need, everything your soul needs. Um, yeah, um, we're going to go ahead and start talking about the full moon, full moon in Aries on the 29th of September here. Um, with this full moon, it's kind of like there's this energy of this is where it happens. So this is, this is again, this is going to be building up to the eclipse. We're not quite there yet. That's, you know, really kind of, uh, middle of Libra season, kind of pushing the end of it, right? But starting with the uh, the full moon in Aries on the 29th here, I'm also on this same day, Venus squares Uranus. So with that said, relationships, relationships, um, could be, there could be this sort of abrasive energy when it comes to relationships. Um, an energy that isn't quite as perhaps peaceful as you'd like 
for it to be it's kind of like there's this there's this like i'm feeling though there's this cleaning energy this cleaning energy this cleaning energy that um like ultimately it's good ultimately like we, we like that we like we like clean right um but it's kind of like this process is abrasive like it's scrubbing like it's, it's scrubbing like using like um you know like tools to to just scrub the dirt or the residue or the just like dried like stuff off of something like 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 sandpaper or um uh what is, what is it called i don't know like those um sponges that have like the is it like bristle or something i don't know anyway it's it's abrasive it's like this cleaning process that is kind of can be abrasive in the moment and it's the thing is that's kind of cool about this full moon is it's getting things cleaner than they've ever been before it's pull it's um i said pulling but it's pouring out it's pouring out all the um old energy is pouring out all all the old energy that you didn't know was still there and trapped kind of inside you it's kind of like i'm feeling even this um purging energy kind of kind of um along with that um there's also this energy of um i channeled the message and it's not even really a message it's just a couple of words here but true essence getting to the true essence of 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 something there's also another um channeled word or whatever is full disclosure something about full disclosure um could be significant maybe you um something's just really being revealed yeah something could be really really revealed with this um aries full moon again this full moon and it's always going to be a little bit different depending on where libra and aries are in your charts but typically aries is the self and libra is the other the other others right so this axis right deals so much with relationships so much more deals more with relationships than any other axis in the zodiac right so in some way shape or form relationships are being absolutely targeted targeted for deeper healing and cleansing and everything for your highest good everything is bringing things more into alignment with your highest good your highest timeline at all times even when it doesn't quite seem like it you know, sometimes I like this analogy. Um, sometimes when something bad happens, right, it's kind of like maybe that could be like um, an, an analogy, right? It could be like tripping and falling, okay? But it's kind of like falling forward off of the steps that you were on going forward. It's pushing, maybe there's like this, maybe it's like this push forward this push forward on your path maybe where i was trying to go with that is this is kind of like even when it, it it seems abrasive and i feel like abrasive is kind of a good word for this full moon but um it's like it's still moving you forward pushing you forward on your true path and there's just there's the, you know there's things in the future we can't see yet and it's kind of like from that future perspective this all makes sense but we're not there yet right but just this kind of i want to say reassurance that everything's coming into alignment this is all, this will make sense later it might not make all that much sense like in the middle of libra season but by the end it actually kind of shouldn't we'll, 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 we'll get there um last little thing i want to say about the full moon before we move on to the next kind of transits here is when it comes to relationships for some relationships there will be some sense of um disillusions disillusions dissolving energy of certain relationships and that's okay for others this is growing pains growing pains again this is for like a cleansing healing um higher timeline purpose and from a higher perspective this is something that you will absolutely be grateful for that your higher self will be absolutely grateful for that you'll be able to see one day and be grateful um okay moving on to the next kind of set of transits um 
So this next kind of thing, over like this like one week window between, what is it? Um, about October 4th through October 11th, we have like three personal planets all changing signs. So Mercury moves into Libra on October 4th. Uh, Venus into Virgo on October 8th and Mars into Scorpio on October 11th. So with the personal planets all just trying to changing signs really quickly, it might feel like people are changing like really quickly around you. Like so-and-so is changing. This person's also changing. Like everyone's changing and that might be a little bit uncomfortable, but also notice how you have also been changing. And again, and also this this energy feels it's like it's more about coping than actual changing. Like maybe people are having to cope differently, and there's kind of like this redirection of energy here. Um, and it feels like that's that's all it is having to focus on on something. And and I do feel like there could be this like uh, kind of mix match energy. Like relationships feel to be changing. Like people feel to be changing and it feels like there's a lot oh there's also a lot about this Libra season where it's like certain things are only temporary like don't don't worry too much about certain things um right now okay now we're going to move on to the eclipse Ooh, solar eclipse annual annular solar eclipse um also uh, check out, okay, there's a lot of places throughout the U.S. that um, this eclipse will be visible. So feel free to look up, see if it's like, if you'll be able to see it from where you are. Um, anyway, um, okay, so October 14th, this eclipse, okay. Um, this eclipse is putting the mind through a lot. Oh, my cat is playing with that toy again. Hopefully she stops. If she doesn't, I'm going to have to move it okay okay we're gonna pause the video i'll be right back all right i'm back i feel bad my cat is just staring at me like laying on the ground just like you took my toy away how dare you i'm sorry i'll look at it back okay we're gonna continue on with your video um okay yes solar eclipse so um this eclipse it might feel like a bit of a storm a rainstorm there might be a lot of things that just kind of suddenly go offline this turbulent energy like like if there were like a storm like if you think about like the metaphor of a storm there are certain things you can't do in a storm right you can't like i mean you can but maybe you shouldn't go outside maybe um and it, it, this also feels like the energy and the, the I feel the need to say these are only metaphors. These are only metaphors that are meant to be kind of like um, tools to like kind of translate to how it might actually apply and like shed light into some totally actual different area of your life. So the energy of like some kind of an outage, like power outage that it feels also like this um, eclipse takes makes you feel powerless in, in, in some kind of a way. Um, like there's like, it feels like there's a certain thing that you've relied on and that just goes off and you don't have that for like a hot minute, like maybe a few days or something. And it, and it can be rough perhaps. Um, and, and there's this energy of just kind of being with the self and, and, and it's shedding a lot of light on to relationships where you really realize the truth behind um, certain relationships. I'm feeling this energy now too of, of coming clean again of that, that cleaning energy of like relationships being cleaned. Cleans up. Maybe there's been like certain relationships in your life that are kind of... Um, Maybe there's just a lot of like unnecessary like stuff kind of like on certain relationships, like in certain conversations, just stuff that isn't of the true essence, right? Of that relationship. And it's kind of like all that stuff is being cleared off. Like this is getting to, to the truth, to the matters of the heart here. 
Um, I'm gonna look down at my notes. What else did I wanna say about this eclipse? I know there is just so much more. Um, again, with this storm though, it's like, again, it's only temporary and it passes and it might take a little bit longer than you'd like. Um, and it's kind of like any any areas in your life that are affected by this sort of um, outage. I don't know, we're just gonna call it that. Um, really needed the extra rain. It's kind of like this, this there's this, this there's this rain right needed this extra rain and certain things maybe washed away a little bit and certain things will get the rain and the the nutrition to grow and to flourish um i'm feeling this really really beautiful hmm, homecoming energy um on the other side of this storm and it may be like maybe there's like this like kind of caution you know, um, stepping back outside after the sun is, has come out and the clouds have parted. Um, just intuitively, I wrote down a couple of dates. Um, the 18th or the 19th of um, October could be significant um, for like this energy kind of um, clouds parting, like sun coming out. Um, and it's kind of like in this sort of like uncertainty of kind of like stepping out and like check taking a look and 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 and, and i'm feeling i'm feeling assessing the damage okay like finding out like what was going on like maybe there's been like i don't know some kind of like lack of communication maybe like with the certain challenges that have been going on mentally it's kind of like it's been that it's been mental and it's not been do you have able to like talk to people I don't know for like I don't know you haven't communicated with someone during this storm like at all almost a feeling anyway it's kind of like after like a big storm it takes a while for like things to like kind of come out of hiding there's like this 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 time period that like this grace period rather of like things kind of like slowly starting to come back out um yeah, I don't know. I also, I don't know, I don't really know why, but I, I kind of channeled like just like things, um, like animals, like in a forest, like like rabbits, specifically rabbits could be really significant to someone. Um, but like that, that um, you know, like coming back out again, like takes a while. It's okay. It's okay for somebody. This might be, just, I feel like this is just for like a few people, but don't, don't freak out. Someone needs to like not freak out. <laughs> okay. Um, I look down at my notes here. Um, so I'm gonna like bend my paper a little bit so I can read this. Um, oh, that was it. I actually said everything. Um, yeah. Okay. So I mean, that was pretty. That's pretty much it oh no that's not it that's not it what am i talking about um there is a mercury kazemi Mer yeah mercury kazemi if you don't know, if you don't know what a mercury kazemi is um this is when the when mercury and the sun come into perfect conjunction and there's this about four hour window that's just really potent and, and powerful when it comes to mental clarity and epiphanies and realizations. This like little window of time where like your mind is gonna be like spot on, like, yeah. Like you'll be able, like if you kind of set aside time during a Mercury Kazemi, you can like really get to the bottom of things, figure things out, gain so much insight and clarity to certain things that you want insight on. So I'll let you know when that's happening. So that takes place on um, Thursday, October 19th. And um, at 10, exactly at about, let's say about, about 10.40 p.m. And this is happening in, um, so that's like Arizona time in, in, in the U.S. So 
convert that to like wherever you actually are. So um, kind of like in the more like Western part of the US, right? This would be taking place from um, say roughly 8.30 p.m. to about 12.30 p.m. or 12.30 12 a.m. on Friday the 20th, so wee hours of the morning. So if you're up late that night um, and you want to like, I don't know, figure something out, you can. There's that 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 window there. Um, Mercury Kazemi is when um, it's like Mercury in the heart of the sun, right? really sheds a light on this the most positive um qualities of that planet mercury so there's that uh if you want to yeah anyway um last little thing we're gonna talk about um i mean this um i mean that that's really that's really it for libra season i was just gonna mention mercury um then on the 21st of October, that Saturday, will then enter Scorpio. Um, and then the sun enters Scorpio on the 23rd. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of nice. I mean, I mean, Mercury was, you know, retrograde a while ago. And it's not like that long ago, but um, it's kind of moving fast now. Things are moving faster now, especially when it comes to the mind. There was a lot of like, there's been a lot of, you know, retrogrades and, um, Things are picking up the pace. There's this energy of things picking up the pace. And then we are about to step also into a really transformative time. There's a lot of kind of like, you know, transformative, powerful energy coming through with this eclipse. And then, then we're kind of transitioning over to that more scorpionic energy here. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of buckle up. Uh, I feel like there's a lot. Um, there's more coming also also on October 10th Pluto does station direct so kind of feeding into that even more there's I feel I feel like every a lot of people have you've been going through um, a lot of transformation in your life some area in your life has been in the midst of a major transformation and this is kind of where that energy is getting is really I don't want to say wrapping up, but like fine tuning, like becoming becoming powerful, I guess, or where you're realizing your power, you're harnessing your own personal power. So I think that's really beautiful. I think um, I, I I I I want to say it's a really it's a really you know positive kind of manifestation of that. There are a lot of changes that are are going to be coming on the other side of this um, solar eclipse. A lot of change here so especially if like you've been wanting certain changes in your life um this is this is this is where it is this is where it is this is where it's happening this is where it is interesting um I, yeah i do feel that um really strong um also that's it also that's it okay that that's 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 the video um oh you know what we're gonna we're it's not the video yet. We are going to um, <laughs> close your reading. Oh my gosh, my voice. Okay, I guess I was supposed to do this part. Good thing I remembered. Um, we're going to close this video with a guardian angel message for Libra season here. So um, also thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. Um, you're gonna get a guardian angel message um, for Libra season here, so. Guardian Angel message for Libra season. Manifestation. Believe in yourself. Trust your instincts and follow your heart. For in doing so, you shall manifest all your heart's desires. The life you have for so long aspired to create will soon manifest confirmation claim it feel it because it's true all right thank you for watching i hope that you have a beautiful blessed time of libra season here thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel 
and so much love and light to you. Um, I'll see ya.